just can't sleep in a car anymore. I was a debutante. It's wrong. Sue? Lexi? Brad, what's up? Hey. Oh, Sean is going to med school next door at St. Matthew's. Uh, how's it going? Great. Got to watch them restart a guy's heart this morning. Then I went to class. Ha! <laughs> med school humor. <laughs> Um, I know another one that's funnier, but it's kind of dirty, and I don't feel comfortable telling it. Sorry, it's not you. We're just down. It's a long story. We sublet our apartment to Derek and Andy, and they sub-sublet it to this guy who turned out to be my professor, so we can't kick him out, and he won't leave. So we've been sleeping in our cars. When people say it's a long story, they don't usually tell the long story. It's also brought out a pretty mean side of Lexi. Wait, 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 wait. That is just not acceptable. We're going to get this straightened out right now. I was going to offer to do a dance fight, but it seems like Sean's got a handle on it. Who are you? Hello, sir. Sean Donahue. I just want to welcome you to our fair state. I heard you just moved here. Well, I hear there's been a slight snafu. See, this is their apartment, and you aren't supposed to be here. Yeah. I'm the guy who's going to fix this. Yeah. Well, there's nothing to fix. I've got a contract, and I'm not going anywhere. OK, fair enough. Although. I'm just wondering if the East Indiana administration would take kindly to knowing that one of their professors was living with one of his students. Don't you? Sue's stuff is here. Your stuff is here. Look, if you're not worried about your reputation, then great. I just know the academic world is small, and it's all about optics these days, am I right? 